Hi, I'm Stephanie Schwab, the K-12 Curriculum Supervisor for Mathematics and Science. I'm here today to give you a tutorial on Think Central, the online website for your elementary students' math resources. The website can be found as a link on the district website. For future reference, it is k-6thinkcentral.com. Once you get to this screen, you want to select your state. and then you would need to select the school district of North Penn. And then you would select your child's school. It's good to click this box to remember my information because you won't have to then type in every time the state, the school district, and your child's school. For the username and password, it is your child's ID. I am going to use a generic password and username right now to show you what you will have access to. Once you get to this main page, you will see that there's a spot for things to do, my library and my test scores. Currently the only section you will have to worry about is my library. You can click on this and what you will find are the resources that your child has access to at home. The Curious George section here is the animated math models. On the handout that's on the website for your child's grade, there is on the back page a list of all of the animated math models and what lesson they tie up to. As you can see when you click on to the animated math models, it lists everything by skill. These skills are tied to the lesson so that you know which, school, which skill could best help you while you're at home working on your child's homework with them or your child can view as a tutorial. When you click on one of these, you then must click go and it will give you a sample task that a child can watch and see what's going on. Another resource that you have available to you is your child's standards practice book, which is their homework book. Within here, you can find any page that is your child's homework. So if your child would happen to forget their book in school or they're homesick, you can have access to everything right here. There's a table of contents button at the top. You can zoom in and zoom out, and then you can search for your pages. This is the way you move forward to see which page you would need for your child. The other piece that's available for you is the GoMath Multimedia eGlossary for K-6. to In here you will see all of the definitions and terms for your child. You can select the grade on the left hand side that you are looking for. And then everything is listed in alphabetical order. You can choose one of them, add end, and it gives you a visual of what an add end is and then there's also a recording that you can have the definition read to you. The last piece that is here is called Mega Math. These are games that your child can use to practice at home on their skills. If you ever have any questions about Think Central and how to access it or where the resources are, you may contact your child's classroom teacher or you may contact me at schwabsa at npen.org or 215-853-1048. Every child should be set up in their teacher's class by the end of the first marking period. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact someone, your child's teacher or myself. Thank you and have a great day.